Hey guys, it's Dee, and uh, this is going to be my second video now, hooray! The very first one where I'm actually talking about something, and I guess we're going to start things off with a rant. So, um, it's going to be about dog owners, and namely really bad ones. Uh, so a little background history, this is very much inspired by two, one a little older, one really new, shitty, shitty neighbors. Well, not that they're shitty people, to me, anyways, but they're very shitty to their animals, and I think that is just fucking ridiculous, and I'll get into why. So we had these people next door that moved in, and they had this pit bull, and, you know, beautiful dog, great to look at, obviously a puppy, I could tell right away, not super young, but, you know, between one and two, for sure. So lots of energy, those of you that know bull breeds and terrier breeds <laughs> know that it's not really a beginner's dog and they need lots and lots of exercise. This dog would bark non-stop because it was so bored. These people must have lived here about a year or so. I don't think I've ever seen them walk the dog. Well, I don't think. I have never seen them walk the dog, which is retarded because I don't know what the hell was going on over there, but there was like five of them living in this house. They were all 20 or 30 somethings. Like, you know, each of you takes the dog out for 10 minutes and then you're walking the dog for an hour. Like, what is so hard about that? Not that I think that this person, I don't really know exactly whose dog it was. Not that I think these other people need to contribute, but I mean, if you're that fucking lazy, then wouldn't that be the easiest thing to do? So stupid. And beyond that, the whole reason why this initially became a problem is because one day last January, the dog was outside. It was zero or colder, which, you know, maybe for a long haired dog is okay for, you know, a half hour or something, but like their paws still get cold. They left this pit bull, short haired dog, outside in the cold for three fucking hours. And those assholes were home. And like, the dog, from the minute it got outside to the minute they finally let it in, it did not stop barking. And this dog is loud. So loud that when their windows are closed over there, <laughs> my windows are closed over here, I'm inside, the dog's inside. If their dog starts barking, I can hear it in my house. This dog is so loud. And like, that was just retarded. And I will say, I did call the cops on them for animal cruelty and for a noise complaint, hoping that, you know, someone would get their shit in gear. And while the dog didn't continue to bark as much, mostly because they just screamed at it, you know, like it's, Nothing, nothing happened. These people didn't get a clue. Nothing. And now I have these other people that have moved in behind us that feel like their dog is so good that they, they can just let it saunter around off leash. And that is fucking stupid. And on top of that, this dog is also a pit bull. So here's why I think that's a little bit worse. You have a power breed. I don't care how friendly the dog is. The fact of the matter is, eventually, the dog will go and say, trying to be playing with a child, or not even playing, maybe just running past the kid, knocks the kid over, and then it's a pit bull attack. Pit bull attack. By the news, by the kid, by whatever, and now your fucking dog is getting put down, and now it's making a bad rap for all these other pit bulls out there. Like, it doesn't make any sense. These animals, you have to be so dedicated and so careful, and these people just are like, about it, like, oh, I have a dog, cool. And they don't realize what they're doing. And for people like me, who own a bull breed, granted not a pit bull, but I get the same bullshit that pit bull owners get, it makes it look bad for those of us who actually control our dogs. And not that my dog is not friendly, but I only let my dog off leash in off leash areas because anything could happen. You know, it doesn't matter 
And you hear it all the time. These people say, oh, my dog is so good, has such good recall. No, 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 no. I'm like, okay, yeah, so your dog has good recall until the day that it doesn't. And then your dog is going to run into the street and get hit by a car. And now your dog's going to die. And your dog is essentially dying because you're a fucking idiot. And you know, when that day comes, these people, I'm not going to feel bad for them. I will certainly feel bad for their dog. But you know, being a dog owner takes responsibility and you have to be committed. You can't, you know, like leash laws are in place for a reason. And it's not just for safety of people, it's for the safety of your fucking animal. And if you're too ignorant to adhere by those rules, then I think you really don't give a fuck about your animal. You just want to be some badass and look at me, look at my dog can walk around off leash, my dog can do this, like, cool, why don't you go, you know, get the dog in a weight pull or get it in a super dogs or do agility, like, do one of those things with it. Go volunteer with your dog. If your dog is that good, go in the, you know, get it certified and go volunteer, you know, with disabled kids or like an old folks home or something. You know, don't fucking let your dog saunter around off leash. And beyond that, if your dog is off leash and a stray or just some dog taking itself out for a walk is off leash that doesn't happen to be dog friendly and those two dogs get into a fight, your dog not being on leash is going to make it a lot harder for you to protect your own animal and get it away from an aggressing animal or break up the fight at all. But what are you going to do if your dog is meters away and a bigger dog comes and attacks it? It's just retarded. And it makes me so mad to see it. And I don't understand what the fuck people's problems are. So if you have a dog, fucking walk it so that it doesn't bark nonstop because it's bored. Like, it's a dog. It needs stimulation, just like anybody else. Like, just imagine having no computer, no TV, no DVDs, no video games, nothing like that. You have, like, a stuffed toy and a ball and a bowl of water, and you're locked, essentially, just in your house all day with nothing to do but, like, eat and sleep. Because, you know, they can't pee or poop even inside. You know, what are they supposed to do all day? Like, that's their time to get out and explore and, you know, be fulfilled and get exercise. You know, like, the dog was so obviously bored, this other one next door, and just barking nonstop. And it's so stupid. And now, you know, keep your dog on a leash. It's as simple as that. You know, I don't care how good your dog is. I don't. If you want to let your dog run around off leash, then go buy a fucking acreage and let it run around off leash or go to the fucking off leash park and let it run the fuck around off leash because that's what those areas are for. But leash laws are in place for a reason and it's to keep all parties safe. Me, you, my dog, your dog, people's kids, what have you. And especially, especially power breeds, not just pit bulls, I would say any bull breed, any larger breed, especially, I mean, not to say that one is, you know, better than the other, but, you know, I don't think a little Yorkshire Terrier that gets out is going to do potentially a lot of damage. I mean, it could, it could easily get itself out and start a fight and get killed, that's for sure. It's happened. But, you know, I just think people are just so stupid I don't understand why these people are getting pit bulls. I don't understand. Like, if you want a dog that you don't need to walk or that, you know, isn't going to have negative press if something happens, then don't get a dog or, like, I just, it just blows my mind. I don't understand. I don't think I'll ever understand. And I really think that there should be, like, a test and a license people should have to take in order to get a dog. And, you know, have, just like driving, you know, you have to get a license before you can drive a car. Because, you know, you have to know how the fuck to drive a car. Lots of us on the road. So I think it should be the same. I think you should have to take a test and get a license to get a dog. And for a certain class, all the dogs into different, you know, areas and... 
you know, you have to take more advanced tests, you know, and have something to do with training techniques and quiz these people about how often they're willing to walk the dog and amount of time and how often they're home and stuff like that. Because then I think honestly, we would have a lot less of these shitty dog owners. You know, it's people like this that make pit bulls get such a bad rap. I mean, not necessarily people like this. I mean, obviously it's, you know, drug dealers that get them as drug dogs or people that are, you know, fighting them and that those are the worst. But, you know, in terms of average Joes, these people are the ones who are getting them and not necessarily being abusive, but certainly in a way neglecting them. And, you know, it's causing all of these attacks or all these bad things that are happening especially lately in my city, and that's what's giving these dogs such a bad rap, and it leads to stupid shit like BSL. So, all I gotta say is, fucking walk your fucking dog. If you have a dog, fucking walk it. You know, even if it's 10 minutes a day, that's better than nothing. But I mean, honestly, like a pit bull should be getting like at least an hour a day, I think, personally. My dog's lazy as hell, and I try to give her at least an hour a day. Obey leash laws. You know, stimulate your dog, get into training, take it to the off-leash park, do what you need to do, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, you guys can tell me in the comments what you guys think. Um, to be honest, though, I don't want to hear any of this, like, bull breeds or, like, fucking crazy and should be annihilated bullshit. Like, get the fuck off the internet. You're an idiot. Go educate yourself, because that is not the case. Every single dog's been demonized, broadies. Dobies, German Shepherds, you know, like all these dogs have been demonized over the years. And, um, yeah, so just tell me what you think about people, you know, walking their dogs and leash laws, I guess. We'll keep it on that. And, yeah, go walk your dog after you watch this video because I'm sick of seeing these dogs that are beautiful, good dogs, and they're ending up in the hands of these morons basically. So, yeah. So this is Ari, my dog. <laughs> what are you doing? Hi. Are you sleeping? Oh my goodness. Look at you. Yes, he's so good. Here we go. I got her up. <laughs> this is, oh, 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 his breath stinks. It's a mouthwash or something. Lord. <laughs> Okay, so, no, that's all, that's all. So, me and what? She's upset now because she wants a treat because I'm bribing her to be on the internet. <laughs> she doesn't, she doesn't, you don't want it. You don't want to be on the internet otherwise, here. Okay, so, be good to your dogs and, um, yeah, walk them and don't let them run around off leash if it's not an off leash area. Let me know what you guys think about leash laws in your areas. If they're strict enough, um, too slack. You know, if you have any shitty neighbors being shitty to their dogs in a maybe not so obvious way, you know, in a not necessarily like hitting them abusive kind of way, but you know, still shitty, still in a shitty way. So let me know and like and subscribe and tell all your friends and uh yeah go pet your dog go pet your dog and walk your dog will you give me your kisses i don't want them okay guys i will see you next time okay bye